power on a level 10 priest is better than crit because of overall damage output by comparison. Crit does not increase your spell damage but instead increases its chance to do extra damage, in Ulad 6.1.6.3. The extra damage is not constant so you have to rely on scaling from intellect. For me I get 9 points of extra damage on penance from 2 spell power or intellect. Crit is not reliable on every class. For instance, on the bite on a feral druid, what the ability says is not correct but if I can do 800-1000 bites non-crit and 1.6k crits then that shows that crit is not a constant formula. Correction, 800 through 1000. It goes the same for fire mages because if a pyroblast is at 269 damage and a crit pyroblast is at 320 to 340 in pvp with no versatility on the target that's barely a damage increase, but you are forced to use 100% crit and multi strike because of the double pyroblasts and shit. But on a priest, your overall crit should be just under 55% with every piece of gear stacking intellect except your gloves which are enchanted with heavy glove reinforcements for tanking purposes. Haste should be the stat you stack the least as a priest because you already get that bonus from the bubbles plus 40% haste from all sources buff and that by default your heirlooms give sufficient haste to quickly cast flash of lights without many interruptions. You should always always stack versatility because eating damage is what a 10 disc priest does and doing damage is its number 2 priority. You should always play as a buman for the versatility bonus and the trinket so you can use dual champions, you max out versatility at 64%. The Fellmouth Frenzies are a good source of damage and are cheap on the auction house. If you pop your bubbles before combat they have a higher chance of critting at 2k, well I mean shield. If the enemy hits back you have a higher chance of hitting them so remember to have macros that taunt spit laugh at and demean your enemy so they hit you. Always always have all your bars up and try your best not to click abilities that are on your primary action bar. Always get potions from alchemy and dead mines, craft the potions that give 400 health and 250 mana. Because you can pop those with the original health only potions, they can both crit and both scale off of versatility. For a quick save if someone burst at you while you were silent. In world pvp you'll have long fights with classes that can heal or players that are experienced with them, for instance I had a 10 minute fight with a crap ass 1.2k hp elemental shaman because he knew how to play. A priest can actually take very difficult enemies if played correctly and if you healed at the right time. And yes you can spam flash of light. You can 5v1 i the enemies aren't that good. Derp. If. Derp 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 derp. Derp 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 Dr. Perdantville. If you try to get assistance from a level 10 twink priest friend you basically become unbeatable and can only be defeated by masses of level 30 to 40 players or 70 plus s. Try not to get hit from fists of furies from 3k hp and monks, those are fairly dangerous and can result in a death 90% of the time. I am now going to go over best in slot for every piece of gear for a 10 twink priest. For your head. ID go with the tattered dread mist mask, neck, eternal horixon choker with plus 9 versatility, shoulders, tattered dread mist mantle with plus 2 intellect plus 1 crit, chest tattered dread mist robes with plus 1 stats, bracers, willow bracers of intellect plus 2 intellect, don't forget what I said, gloves, adepts gloves with heavy glove reinforcements, waist, castles kinch wrap, legs, obviously tattered dread mist leggings with greater cerulean spell thread plus 2 intellect plus 1 crit, boots, willow boots of intellect plus 2 crit, because you can't find intellect for boots, the speed option is useless because your ancient blood moon cloak already has plus 12 versatility and plus 10% speed and that shit don't stack. It used to though. You don't use the quest option silver embroidered cloak because you still need haste, just not a missive amount of it. Rings, invokers signify you're a big enough loser to spend 30 bucks on a faction transfer, with plus 6 versatility. And captain taylor's signet plus 6 versatility, or you can use the blacksmithing copper rings. For your trinkets, I'd use returning champion and defending champion but since I don't have those I currently use the intellect trinkets. For your weapons, I'd go with the haste mace with elemental force and the book with plus 3 intellect, like I said, not too much haste but not too little, it's like goldilocks. For transmogrification, don't look like a fucking a swipe and use a generic ass common mog but go with something you haven't seen before that looks good, try hard with it and use wowhead to find what drops what, for me I farm the tigers in northern barons for most my 10 gear and mogs. You can disable helm if you didn't know that. For your attack combos, dot and smite penance, your fell bolts will most likely proc around the dot and smite area, use penance for only damage because you can flash heal up to full health instantly. Your elemental force can proc twice in the process, and if I do the math correctly, 112 plus 155 plus 200 plus 269 plus 360 plus 269 plus 350 plus 400 equals a lot of potential damage, maximum of 2115 in about 4 seconds. But you mostly miss in the process, that's on something your level though. 
so if you cut off about 50 to 70 percent of that damage you get about 900 damage. By the way you can be a hairy 70 year old steroid using bald black man with no pants on ganking 20s through 39s. And with that I leave you with. It's not gay if it's in space aeiouuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu